right, we're shaking guys, so today I got another 3D printer from Anet. This is the Anet A4, and as far as I know, this is Anet's first Delta printer. So, I really like Delta printers, I like how they don't take up as much space, you know, on your desk or whatever you put it on, and you can always print really big, like, as far as the Z-axis, and I don't know, I just like Delta printers, I think they look cool, and they're awesome. So, this, it retails for a little under $200, I'll have the cheapest price and everything in the description. This was sent to me courtesy of GearBest, so thanks so much to them. As far as I know, this is a pretty simple assembly, so it takes like 10 minutes to an hour, so I guess it's going to be closer to an hour, <laughs> maybe a little more, but that's actually pretty good when uh, I put together 3D printers that took like 20 hours, so. Um, Alright, so here, pretty standard unboxing experience, we got all this uh, random foam stuff. We got the acrylic top. Now this is really cool. The bottom, it's in a nice solid, you know, metal. And then right in here we got the board. Everything was already wired up, you know, so that's good to go. Very similar to like a CR10. Everything's wired up. Then you just plug in these ones. Um, the screen, let's peel that off. Uh, here's all the menu buttons, menu screen. So and I'll check that out more once I get it all put together. Okay. Extruder motor, uh, spool holder, actually a metal spool holder with a 3D printed part. <laughs> the smallest thing a test filament ever. Uh, a Bowden tube, US power cord, the hot end assembly, as far as the hot end, well, like the heat brick, the fans, and everything. Here's the nozzle. Pretty standard nozzle. Heated bed. Tape already on it. Uh, it looks like here's all the feet and pin stop. Uh, holders. And uh, this looks like these are the brackets that the rails go on. Fan shroud. So, I mean, yeah, there's definitely a lot of parts to this. It's not like. You know, it's not going to take 10 minutes, it's going to take like an hour at least. But, this won't be hard at all, I don't think. Here's my rods. Uh, go hook it up to the computer. All the tools I'll need. SD card with directions in it. So, you'll have all the directions there. All of my uh, hardware I'll need. Carbon, yep, carbon fiber delta arms. A little plastic ruler, uh, a pair of flush cutters um, for the Bowden tube, and three belts and zip ties, and that's it. That's the whole unboxing experience. So, so that's a big pile of stuff, but it doesn't look like it'll be too hard. I've put together several Delta printers, so I mean, how hard could this be? So, I'm gonna get out the directions, read up on it a little bit, watch some videos on YouTube. I know. On Anet's channel, they have some videos on how to put this thing together. So I'm going to take a look at those, and I'll time lapse me putting the thing together. So I got it all put together. It took me two beers. It took like an hour and 15 minutes. Um, it, I messed up a little. I had to take it a little bit apart to put it back together. Otherwise, probably all, it probably only took me about an hour. But uh, yeah, it went together pretty easy. It was a little bit different than the directions. Like the way this mounts on the top was actually simpler than the way it had in the directions. They, they made some slight modifications. But for the most part, everything went together really, really easy. Um, Everything looks good quality. Uh, it seems to be auto homing good. Uh, let me show you here. Um, quick settings. Get this on, yeah. Okay, let's. Uh... Yeah, well, it's already up, but yeah, obviously it auto homes fine. 
So yeah, it's auto homing, it's preheating, so I guess let's just see what it's got on the SD card, fire up from test prints, do some of my own, and uh, let's see how it prints. Okay guys, it's the next morning, sorry about my crazy hair, I just woke up. But yeah, I went through the SD card and all the test files were really stupid, it was like a cylinder, a box, a horse. And I was like, whatever. So I'm gonna print some of my own stuff. I think that's more fun, anyways. But the thing's working great. Um, the it has a, a like an assisted bed leveling, where basically all you gotta do instead of going into like printer face or anything to do the bed leveling on here, on here you go to Z height, you turn it to zero, you adjust the bed so that's at zero with your normal paper, and then it's got like move X, move Y, whatever. So you just move X, Y. You make sure on the sides you make like. It, it has it all in the directions, but you just basically go to five points, check it with paper, and uh, it's good to go from there. So, yeah, I guess let's get some files in Cura, and let's see what it can do. Okay guys, so the Anet A4, this actually exceeded my expectations. Um, it was very easy to put it together, about an hour, a um, little more than they advertised at 10 minutes, but really wasn't hard at all. Uh, the directions were basically though just a video, like in an SD card, and it, on the SD card there's a PDF readme and it said watch the video. So then it was really just like a three minute video and you had to follow along. Some things were slightly different, but if you just use some common sense, uh, it's pretty easy. Like the top part, it had like these brackets that you're supposed to put on it, and the rods went all the way through. Well, they changed that, so it just mounts directly on here. Um, but other than that, there was nothing really that was any different. It went together very easy. Uh, everything looks pretty good quality. There is some 3D printed parts, like these part, this part, um, this and this, and the fan shroud. But other than that, everything's like solid metal. I like how everything's already enclosed in here. There's no wiring you have to do. And in the $200 price range, that's pretty good. Um, the one thing I really like about this opposed to other Delta printers is to bed level it was really easy. It basically uses the same style as like a Cartesian printer with just your bed leveling screws you know, once you adjust your Z height. And there's just no like software stuff you have to go in and do and re-upload or anything. So other than just manual adjustments it's pretty much good to go. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like uh, this might be my favorite printer from Anet. Um, and just around $200, too, it's a pretty good deal. It's pretty rock solid. Uh, it heats up very quick. It's got the heated bed. Um, I haven't had any problems with parts sticking or anything. And of the parts I printed, the very first thing I printed was this Benchy. And I had some problems with it. I printed it too hot for one, and then uh, it, too fast. And you'll notice, I mean, it's not bad at all, though. It's just uh, not perfect, especially, like, right in these overhangs. But then I did a little settings adjustment, and I think this pig actually turned out um, pretty good. Still, some of the overhangs had a little, little issues. Uh, but then, this I printed, uh, and I printed this pretty solid. I did some more setting tweaks. The only problem is I had, I had a little bit of over-extrusion, but that's easy, easy to fix. I just adjust my flow to like 98% instead of 100. The printer also too is very quiet. You can see I started the print right when I hit play or record on the video, so it didn't take very long to get going. And uh, yeah, since I adjusted the bed the first time, I haven't had to do any new bed adjustments. Uh, I don't know if you can see from there, but it's laying down the first layer perfectly. Well, so far, um, no problems at all. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I kind of was expecting less, if that makes sense, because the cheap price, and um, just, I had the Anet A6, I had the Anet E12, they both worked, but neither of them were like my favorite printer ever. But this one's pretty good. This this uh, put up a fight with the Anticubic Castle for sure. And the fact that it's really easy to put together, uh, you know. And also, too, I like how quiet this is. The Anticubic Castle is way louder. It's like <laughs> the whole time. This thing's like not bad at all. So, um, if you're looking for a Delta printer that's pretty cheap, this this one you should definitely check out. I uh, I also like how the spool holder is just right on top, and it's all just one solid, you know, object. It's very very like rocks out. Like I could pick it up moving around and it's not really going to affect the print. But also it doesn't take up a lot of room on your table. You know, it's got a nice on off switch and everything. So yeah, I don't really have a bad thing to say about this. I was, ex like I said, I was expecting less, but it's actually pretty good quality with the carbon fiber rods and the reinforced belts. And I like how the belt, it's got belt tensioners already on here. So it's, it's pretty cool. So I think Anet did pretty good with this one. So, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you want to check out the printer, the link will be in the description and everything. Thank you to Gearbest for hooking it up with the printer. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to playing with it. Uh, let me know what printers you guys want to see me review next, or any random thing you want to see me review. I'd love to hear about it. And I guess I'll see you later.